your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the Embassy, the other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. You seem to forget that a human saved you from Saren and the Geth. The Geth created by the idiotic Quarians? That a rogue Turian Spectre led in an attack? The Geth didn't start with the Citadel. They attacked your human colony, Eden Prime, first. You humans brought the Geth upon us. You and the Turians are the Quarians. My people's deaths are on your hands. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the Embassy, the other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. You really think this is legal? Maybe Ilium's contract analyst should look it over. You ignorant yokel. I was negotiating contracts when your ancestors were still burning witches and enslaving each other. I haven't lost a contract dispute in 70 years. Try me. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? <sighs> Where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. I thought Asari preferred to mate with other races for genetic diversity. A short-sighted mistake perpetrated by the same self-hating malcontents who spawned the hateful term pure blood. We hardly need your alien DNA to randomize genetic material. A little radiation would work just as well. You provide no diversity, no new insights, no advancement. You bring only chaos and senseless deaths. Ah. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can Why do was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't... Oh.
I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think I could have... Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe some time when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Seal off those trace samples and get them back to the lab. We got multiple shots fired. Yeah, techs are going over the place now. Central, we got an open carrier on this end, switching to a coded relay. What's going on? This area is sealed off. Please step back, ma'am. Sealed off? Why? Someone tried to kill your friend, Commander Shepard. Thank you, officer. Your people are dismissed. You can't do that. Already done. Tila Vasir, Special Tactics and Recon. A Spectre? I heard your status was reinstated. Good. You're one of our most famous operatives. Might even get you to sign my chest plate. So, I assume you had business with your friend this evening, Commander. Liara was following a lead on the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Dangerous enemy to have. If Liara isn't here, where is she? If I knew that, I wouldn't be sifting through her crap. There's no blood, no body. It looks like Tassoni got away. The sniper didn't plan on her kinetic barrier. Clever girl. Paranoid, but clever. What are the facts so far? About 25 minutes ago, someone took a shot at Tassoni. Note the bullet holes. She stuck around for almost four minutes before leaving the building. Whatever she was doing was important. Did the police find anything when they arrived? Just the mess and the bullet holes. I gave them a gold star for finding the bullet holes. Liara was expecting me. She would have left a message here. Her office wasn't safe. I'm not surprised. Ilium is just Omega with expensive shoes. I haven't found anything useful for tracking her down yet. You knew Tassoni better than I do. Where would she have hidden her backups? Let me take a look around. The rifle used to do that wasn't standard issue. The kinetic barrier deflected the shots, but they still managed to penetrate the glass. It's part of my old armor. Looks like someone didn't like you much either. A doctorate from the University of Ceres, by Lanthesia. She's getting good use out of all that education. Yeah, that's not the Asari homeworld. I'm not sure what planet that is. It's Ilos. The picture changed when you touched it. It must be keyed to your ID. What does it show now? It's a Prothean dig site. Liara did leave a message. There are a few Prothean-looking objects around the apartment. Let's see what we can find. 
Those things must be worth a fortune. Don't worry, Commander. We'll find her. She was certainly into us. Seer, I've got something here. Backup disk. Let's try it on her terminal. It looks like she recorded a call. What have you got for me, Sigat? It was tricky, but you paid for the best. I can narrow it down to a cluster, maybe even a system. How soon can you have it? Shouldn't take long. Come to my office. Barrier Frontiers in the Dracon Trade Center. Gotta say, though, to Sony, you're making me a little nervous. How big is the trouble that could come out of this? Relax, Sikat. I'll see you in a few hours. This must be important. The Shadow Brokers people already tried to kill her once. I know where the Dracon Trade Center is. My car's outside. Let's go. Frontier's offices are located on the third floor. I don't hear police chatter. We must have missed the party. Liara's in there! Kila. They just took out three floors to make sure she's dead. I'll grab this guy car and seal off the building from the top. I'll start down here and work my way up. Just leave some for me. Oh, 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 no. oh, God. What's happening? What happened? Uh, the blast knocked me off my feet. Vizier. The elevators are out and building security is down. No alarms, no police. Sony has been free for over 120 years. Uh, the Drake Econ Trade Center takes pride in being the home to Ilium's corporate elite. Barrier Frontier employee. Looks like he got caught in the explosion. I wouldn't take any bets on Sony's informant surviving that blast. Vizier, I found a military grade explosive device. It hasn't been armed. Sloppy work. You use that kind of hardware when you don't have time to plan. Vizier, I'm at the Barrier Frontier's office. Liara signed in just a few minutes ago. Understood, Commander. Vizier! I'm pinned down! Mark! They're well armed! Say hello to the Shadow Broker's private army, Commander. If I'd have been a few seconds faster, I could have stopped them. Is this a cat? Must have been. No sign of that data Liara talked about. Looks like a dead end. Oh, uh, speaking of which, did you find your friend's body? You mean this body? Liara, this is Vizier. She's a specter. This is the woman who tried to kill me. You've had a rough day, so I'll let that slide. Why don't you put that gun down? I saw you. I doubled back after I left. I watched you break into my apartment. You didn't know where Liara went because she hid the message. You needed me to find it for you. Thanks for the help. Once she had my location, she signaled the Shadow Broker's forces. They bombed the building to take me out. She found Sakat, took his data, and killed him. I'm guessing she's still got the disc on her. Good guess. Not that you'll ever see what's on it. You pure blood pet!
mind, by the way. Thanks for asking. There she is. Hang a right. No, wait, left. I'm on her. Hang a left. She's around the corner. We're not going into the construction site, are we? Oh, goddess. Not letting her escape with that data. Go, 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 go! I'm going! Traffic! Oncoming traffic! We'll be fine. She's dropping proximity charges. I noticed. She's almost out. She's dropping proximity charges. I noticed. It's a taxi. It has a fare meter. Wonderful. Truck. I know. Truck. I know. <laughs> there we go. You're enjoying this. A head-on collision at this speed. Yeah, I think those could be bad. Watch out. Damn backup. Watch out. They're dropping reinforce. There's Vizier's car. Come on, she can't have gotten far. Watch out. They're dropping reinforcements in to slow us down. They blocked the door. I'll take the shot. Fire. No more targets. We're unharmed. We didn't see anything. What kind of hotel is this? Azure. It's a luxury resort with an exotic edge. Azure is slang for a part of the Asari body in some areas of Ilium. Where? Mainly the lower reaches, near the bottom. 
I meant wear on the Asari body. So did I. She's lost a lot of blood. We have to be getting close. She's tough, I'll give her that much. She's a specter. Vizier, it's over. Hey! Hey, you! Come here. What's your name? M-Mariana. Mariana, you want to live, don't you? Tell those people that you want to live. Please. We'll get you out of here safely, Mariana. Well, that's good to hear. All you had to do was walk away. Now it gets ugly. Please, I have a son. A son? I hope he gets to see you again. I've heard losing a parent is just horrific for children. Scars them for life. I'm going to end you, Fazir. It's okay, Liara. We'll handle it. The usual way. You want Mariana's little boy to grow up without a mommy, Shepard? Thermal clips on the ground now. Power cells too. Is that it? What? Vasir, I sacrificed hundreds of human lives to save the Destiny Ascension. I unleashed the Rachni on the galaxy. So for your sake, I hope your escape plan doesn't hinge on me hesitating to shoot a damn hostage. You're bluffing. Now, Leo. <laughs> Is what we need to find the Shadow Broker. You're dead. The Shadow Broker has been in power for decades. He's stronger than anything you've ever faced. Is that why you sold out the Council to work for him? You think I betrayed the Council? Like Saren? Go to hell. The Broker's given me damn good intel over the years. Intel that saved lives and kept the Citadel safe. So if the Broker needs a few people to disappear, I'll pay that price without hesitation. Spectres don't blow up buildings filled with innocent people. Sure we do. We get our hands dirty so the Council doesn't have to. The Councilors might complain about our methods to soothe their consciences, but they never look too closely. Besides, you're with Cerberus. You have any idea what your terrorist friends have done? I know who they are and what they've done. It doesn't matter. I think it does. You want to judge me? Look in the mirror. Kidnapping kids for biotic death camps? Killing Alliance admirals who ask questions? And you're with them? Don't you dare judge me. Oh. Don't you? Uh. Eliminate Sony and retrieve the data. Civilian casualties not a concern. Vizier's dead. 
I'm putting the data through to the Normandy's computers. We can be at the Shadow Broker's base in a few hours. He'll know about Vizier before long. If he decides to kill Farron. We won't give him time. We'll need the Normandy's stealth systems to get us in close undetected. The Shadow Broker's agents are still shooting their way through Ilium. With luck, they won't notice we've left until it's too late. It's a little cold. They killed innocent people. You know what I mean. Do I? When I hit the ground back at the Trade Center, you went after Vizier without a backward look. A little fall wasn't going to kill you. I had to stay on Vizier. I had to stay rational, make the call, like I did with Sakat. That's Vizier's fault, not yours. Sakat had no idea what the stakes were. I put him in harm's way to get the data I needed. I got him killed. And I'd do it again. But from here on out, things will be simple. Get in, get Farron, get out. And kill anyone who tries to stop us. That's it? That's it. We just stop for a second? We'll be jumping several light years. There's time to talk. About what? You haven't been the same since I came back, Liara. What do you want me to say, Shepard? That I mourned you? That I feel guilty because Farron got captured? I made mistakes. I lost people. I helped get you back. And I want to do the same for Farron. I'll sit and talk once he's safe. Until then, enjoying the scenery is an insult to the man who saved both of us. Okay. Let's go. the sunset, completely undetectable in the storm, unless you know where to look. How do we get inside? The shuttle bay is locked down. We'll need to land on the ship and hunt for a hatch. But we can't stay outside for long. There's a constant lightning storm where the hot and cold air collide. signals from a communications array near the back of the ship. There's nothing below but maintenance equipment. We have to find an entrance near the back shielding. Maintenance drones. Why are they attacking? They must think we're debris from the storm. Careful. Those capacitors discharge built-up lightning. Thanks for the tip. Shepard, try firing at the capacitors. Got them!
switch. shunt program that can crack it. How long will it take? I don't know, Shepard. I've never broken into the Shadow Broker's base before. Well, not this one, anyway. This should slow him down. You sure that shunt is working? It's illegal, even on Ilium. It didn't come with a warranty. But you tested it, right? Here come more of them. Tell me you tested Time to talk. Liara! I'm sure it won't be much longer. Remember the old days when you could just slap Omnigel on everything? That security upgrade made a lot of people unhappy. Look out, more on the way. Their attacks are disorganized. They'd be more effective if they all attacked at once. Please don't give the mercs ideas. The next wave looks like a big one. You just had to give them tactical advice. But now there'll be fewer left to deal with inside. Yeah, keep dreaming, Sony. There, the hatch is open! Guards to the Shadow Broker have. Fire! Your positions no matter the cost. I've downloaded the ship's layout. We're headed toward the prison block. And Farron. Getting you out of here. No. Ah! Farron. What the hell is the broker trying to do to you? The equipment is sensitive to tampering. This chair plugs into the broker's info network. You have to shut off the power. Pull me out now and my brain cooks. Do you know where we can cut the power? It won't be easy. You'll have to go to Central Operations. What's the point of this cage? I don't... It's a neural grounding rod. The medical equipment is to make sure he doesn't... expire. We have to shut this place down! Where did the broker get the mercs? Raised his own private force. They're completely loyal. Ah! Ah! Shepard, we really don't have the time. What do you know about the Broker? He did this to me. I was hoping you'd know what he is. I never got a good look, but he's big. The guards are terrified of him. A Krogan? I don't know, but not everyone who visits his office comes back out. Easy or not, we're all getting out of here. Good. Central Operations is down the hall. You know the Shadow Broker's waiting for you, right? I'm counting on it. We'll be back for you, Farron. I'll try not to go anywhere.
here for the drone. Reckless, even for you, Commander. That bombing on Ilium wasn't exactly subtle. Extreme, but necessary. No, it wasn't. Neither was caging Ferran for two years. Dr. Dasoni, your interference caused all this. Ferran betrayed me when he handed you Shepard's body. The Drell is simply paying the price. Someone was bound to come after you for working with the Collectors. It was a mutually beneficial partnership. Your arrival is convenient. The Collector's offer still stands. It'll be pretty hard to run a base this size with no crew. They're replaceable. Your arrival is barely an interruption. Enough talk. My operations are too crucial to be compromised by a traitor. You're quite confident for someone with nowhere left to hide. You travel with fascinating companions, Doctor. It's good you brought Archangel to Sony. Your friend's bounty is still unclaimed. You're not putting a hand on anyone. It's pointless to challenge me, Asari. I know your every secret while you fumble in the dark. Is that right? You're a Yogg, a pre-space flight species quarantined to their homeworld from massacring the Council's first contact teams. This base is older than your planet's discovery. Which probably means you killed the original Shadow Broker 60 years ago, then took over. I'm guessing you were taken from your world by a trophy hunter who wanted a slave. Or a pet. How am I doing? Genetically sensitive. Energy and projectiles are bouncing off. Then we do this the hard way. Hit him now! him to bring up that shield again. I've got an idea. There they are. No shield!
Operative Shora requesting update. Are we still online? Shara Broker, I've lost our feed. We're online and awaiting instructions. Resume standard procedures. I want a status report on all operations within the next summer day. Shadow Broker, out. Goddess of Oceans, it's you. You... how? Well, everyone who's ever seen him in person is dead, so... You're the new Shadow Broker. Is taking over as the Shadow Broker really a good idea? It was either that or lose everything. His contacts, his trading sources, those will really help us. With the Shadow Broker's information network, I can... I can give you... I can... I'll check the power systems. information are we talking about? I'm not sure. I'll need to go through his files. Come back later and I'll try to have something useful for you. All I wanted was to rescue Farron, but is it wrong that part of me wants this? With the Shadow Broker's network, I can help you. Maybe I can turn this operation into something better. Don't be a stranger this time. Come by when you have a chance. The doors are always open. this? That's the old broker's VI assistant. It's actually been helpful with rebuilding the network. Please let me know if I can organize anything else for you, Shadow Broker. It also thinks anyone in the room is the broker. I'll play around with the settings later. My manual is ready whenever you have a moment. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. And now it's ours. You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. 
Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. You know, relatively speaking. If you're in over your head, we could just crash this thing and walk away. That's just it. In a way, I feel like I belong here. Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about organizing, cataloging. I've got everything, Shepard. This is a dream job. Although, the location could be better. Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He also knew that the Collectors were Protheans, repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. Why was he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning in the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Broker seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. How'd you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-spaceflight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yogg. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture, and a terrifying one. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect, after two years of intermittent torture. He gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. So... you and Farron? No. He's been through a traumatic ordeal. He's emotionally fragile and needs to heal. He's very grateful to me for saving him. But it would be irresponsible of me to take advantage of that. It was good talking with you, Liara. Let me know if you need anything. I think what I need right now is a friend. I can't leave for too long, but spending all my time on this ship. Maybe next time you come by, I could come up to the Normandy. That sounds great. Why don't you come up now? Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. Did you enjoy the tour? Yes, it's a beautiful ship. And I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although, he did ask if I'd embraced eternity lately. Of course he did. I also spoke with Dr. Chalkwaz. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but I recovered your tags. never see these again. They changed hands more than once. Do you remember Admiral Hackett? He gave them to me so I could return them to you. He sends his best and hopes you're okay. So how are you doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. Between you and me? I have no idea how we're gonna do this. I'm doing everything I can, but... You've done more than most. There wouldn't be a man, woman, or child left on Horizon, if not for you. I saved some of them. Not enough. And the Collectors will keep hitting colonies until I stop them. So you'll stop them? And here I thought it'd be difficult. You'll get the job done. You always do. I just don't know what comes next. So tell me what you want. What are you fighting for? I guess I'm fighting for us. 
All of us. That's a lot of responsibility. People are messy, awkward, sometimes selfish or cruel. But they're trying, and I'm gonna make sure they have a chance. I hope the galaxy proves itself worthy of the effort you're putting into saving it. I should get back to my base, but thanks for inviting me up, Shepard. Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, what's up? That'll be all. Sorry, fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. Friendly enough to talk about who you were before Omega? You're reaching back centuries, Shepard. Long before anything that should matter to you. So why keep it secret? No reason, from your perspective. But there are plenty of people out there with long memories. I've had a few careers. A few names. Commando training, mercenary leanings. I've kept what was valuable and dropped the baggage. I thought you were in charge. Why so scared of your past? I have nothing to fear on Omega. That doesn't mean I want to broadcast my past to the galaxy. You'd be surprised how long some entities can hold a grudge. This little exercise with Patriarch? A footnote. Not even the first Krogan I've pissed off. You're important, but also isolated. No other allies out there to back you up? I lean toward a particular type of work. It tends to encourage professional rivalry. Sometimes you'd rather disappear than be forced to kill someone. You couldn't have started here with nothing. There must have been someone important. I've always been important, even if others didn't recognize it. So yes, I had money to start this operation. I also had creditors who thought they were more entitled to it. I let them chase a ghost, or several. It's relatively easy to outlive a Solarian. 
but not their record keeping. All right, I'll drop it. Greetings. I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Cell. You look like a good person to know. Friendly faces seem hard to come by around here. Reasonable people are more valuable than air in a place like this. I can see you're trying to flatter me. Don't. Uh, of course. Forgive me. You just made me nervous, is all. You need something? Well, if you'd be so kind, I hoped you might consider a proposition. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. What kind of business do you do? Important business. So important that, with your help, we can change Omega. What do you mean, we can change Omega? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but... Certain people here have business deals with people throughout the galaxy. If we were to have information involving those deals, we could make some ripples around here. That's all I'll say. I'm listening. I'm in the information business, specifically the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Merib's shop on the Citadel and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package and bring those packages to me. Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago and no one seems to care. The medics said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you, Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> My baby. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. <laughs> My baby is gone. 
Thank you. I'm sorry. I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. Neff made that. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and... I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the Halex is flowing through me, the way she looks at me, with a, a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces, we can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morin's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. Hm. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Morinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sick wine. Don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Kent! Kent is not making Big 
selection of illegal shit. You could thrive here if you're strong and ruthless. I like it. What do you want? What's behind this door? VIP section of the club. For those with the right name. Do you want something? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife's nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Ja Root. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. Getting her alone and falling under her sway. That'll require careful timing. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. What other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halix. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morinth sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I wanna... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. What kind of music do they play? They're a sensory band. Like, they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this is sorry, digs them like you wouldn't believe. I can score way out of my league, you know? You gotta help me. She sounds amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago talking about the band. She's here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some creds for you. Oh, uh, hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? What kind of help? My friend Moira is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Flora. He's the worst of the worst. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Flora's on her. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. You seem to have a lot of information. I'm her tech. I've been monitoring the gang's calm. The last transmission said Flort's going to splatter her. Man, I'm a tech junkie. I don't know how to handle this. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Flort, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order, please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, terminal and eternity. In that order, just work them into a sentence. Something I can do for you, lady? Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an Omni tool? 
That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My Omnitool's been broken for an eternity. That's a tough break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florit. I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. Hey. Hey! I'll dance next to you. If you want to think we're dancing together, go ahead. I do want to think that. Red hunting tonight. Hit him in the alley. As long as it isn't one of Arya's people, we're good. We gotta get enough creds to keep pink off our packs. Hey, what are you looking at? I want you gone from here. Hey, we gotta pay the man. We work for Hank. You hear that? So, what do you think of this now? How about I give you enough creds for your boss, then you leave and stay gone. No one gets hurt. Works for me. Let's go. My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? There's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? You and I want the same things. Do we? Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Veyenia? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. But violence is such a charming way to reach that end. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Alex? Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. Have a Alex if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. Surely you don't want to leave. Why don't you come over here? I promise you'll like it. A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. I was into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted, and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? People feel safest right before they die. It's true. We're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission. I think we share that, you and I. We've both killed many times. 
but that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. Look into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. Don't count on it. But you... Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Marin! Mother! Do not call me that! I can't choose to stop being your daughter, mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me! Enough, Morin! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. <clears throat> Find peace in the embrace of a goddess. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard. What do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Let's go. It's not like you can get diseases or anything if we go natural. Hello again, my friends. Please tell me you have something for me. Have you seen what's in these packages? Why? Did you find something untoward? Certainly nothing worth getting worked up about. This information could weaken Arya's organization. You better be sure it's safe before you take it anywhere. I'm touched. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. He's been doing this a long time. Why do you want information about one of Arya's men? It's not for me. A lot of people want to leg up on Arya, and they'll pay a lot of credits to get it. If onto where Arya found out, I'd be ruined. Or killed. Arya will find out what you're up to, Ish. I don't envy you when that happens. I... I think I can handle it. No one has beaten Arya in centuries. Once she casts down your clients, she'll come looking for you. You're right! I... I have to get out of here. Thank you, my friend. You probably just saved my life. Come on, Sel. We have to get out of here.
Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. Killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. What will you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission? I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari-exclusive pairings. I don't know. I thought Ardat Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. Do you need something? You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar are difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emonkira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, Goddess of Motherhood and Protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, Goddess of Oceans and the Afterlife. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider. The ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. 
If it can't, it will be lost. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. The Hanar trained my body for this role since I was six years old. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worship the Protheans? They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual move quickly outside of water, or fire a gun. Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. What exactly are the terms of the Compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. This can't be legal. They made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. The way you describe it, the Hanar sound like weaklings. Out here, they are. But if you could see them in the encompassing, the oceans of Kaje, you would see them differently. A stream of silver in the dark, looping, diving. So fast the eye can't follow. Laughter like the squeals of a child fighting against the water. They fly over the black of the sea bed like birds, plumed with the light of heaven. Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, then the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset-colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies. Drell slip into memory so easily. Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. And you proved yourself trustworthy. Unlike Niket, I'm glad I got to take him out myself. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life, and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister. A friend. Are you gonna talk to her again? I honestly don't know. For once, I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused, and she needs time to adjust to her new home. You never told me what you talked about. I introduced myself. Her family was shocked. She adjusted quickly, of course. 
She's as smart as I am. She plays the violin, loves the adagio movement of Nielsen's fifth, just like I do. She wants to work in colony development. Told a joke about it. She's really funny, <laughs> something we don't share. Let me know if I can do anything else. I think I got it from here. My father has no chance at finding her family in their new location. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little bushtet! Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever and I'm taking it out on the poor drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. You're sick? Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry, it won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that though, except... Well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. I appreciate the thought, Tally. And I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Nevertheless, I'd be honored to link suits with you, Shepard. You know, if you were a quarry and, and we weren't already on a suicide mission. I'm going to tinker a bit more. Thanks for coming by. Hey. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes, and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. If you let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Manara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading. I got him first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. I have to go. But we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? What's your game, Shepard? I've never met anyone like you. Whatever. It'll come back to what you can take. It always does. Shepard. Just checking in. How are you doing? <laughs> I was just... <laughs> just sitting here thinking. The picture. I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint. A battle at Canrum. A dead Turian. Stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head. And a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. 
Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. I don't know if I'll be coming down here for these talks anymore. Whatever. Don't have to be friends to fight good enemies. Just thought you'd like to know I'm finding reasons for my own battles.